there's always an excuse. No matter what you're doing, no matter what you want to accomplish, unless you're really dedicated, there will always be an excuse. You know, let's say you want to get fit and you're like, I'm going to wake up early in the morning and go for a run. And then tomorrow morning comes and you're cold or you're tired or you didn't get enough sleep or, you know, it's, it's, it's raining outside or you can't find the right shoes or maybe, maybe you just need to do something else. You, need to, you didn't get your lunch ready for the day or, you know, your partner's complaining or wants to hug. Who knows? But there will always be an excuse as to why you shouldn't exercise. Then on the way home from work, you're like, I should stop by the gym. I should pump some weights. You're like, yeah, but you know, work was a bit stressful. It was a bit tired. You know, maybe, maybe I'll do it next time. The important thing to realize is, is there will always be a reason not to do it. And this applies to every goal. If you want to do something, you have to put in the work and your mind will throw up issues and barriers and reasons not to all the time. And if you don't, if you fail to realize this, your output, your productivity, whatever it is, just, it'll be, it'll be just abysmal because really there's an excuse, you know? So, so what is your goal? What do you want to accomplish? Write it down in the comments below. Tell me what you want to accomplish and tell me what the excuses that your brain comes up with for you not doing that. So it could be fitness, it could be writing a book, it could be changing careers, it could be going on holidays, it could be hunting that promotion, doesn't matter. Write down what your goal is, let me know, and then write down your excuses that you come up with not to pursue that. Write them down, look at them, and then ask yourself, are they really legitimate? Are any of these excuses that I've written down really a reason not to pursue my goal? And if you're looking through the comments and you see someone else's responses and their excuses, politely let them know why their excuses are just that. Let them know, well, yeah, it's going to suck getting up early, but if you want to get fit, you're going to have to. Yeah, if you want to be a writer, you have to actually write. If you want to put in that extra, if you want to, you know, get promoted, you have to actually do the extra work. Write it down, let me know, help each other out, and let's get our dreams going. Because personally, I'm sick of dreaming and not doing. I'm sick of seeing other people accomplishing stuff and everyone else putting it down to luck. Because I know that they put in a lot of work. Every time their brain came up with an excuse, they said no, and they put in the effort. And, you know, I want to accomplish stuff, but I want to be able to overcome the excuses that my brain puts up as well. So, write down what you want to accomplish, write down your excuses, and let's help each other to succeed and get our goals done. The image you're seeing on the screen now is one of my goals. It's my first book. I've called it Under the Influence, Reclaiming My Childhood, and it's the story of my past. I grew up with a fairly traumatic childhood. My father was an addict, paranoid schizophrenic, chronic hoarder, and a drug dealer. And whilst he didn't hurt me directly, the clientele that he invited into his house were a different story. And now I'm not going to lie, this book is quite, it's, it's quite challenging in parts, but if you faced a difficult childhood, you'll definitely get something from this book. So head over to Amazon, check it out. It's available as an ebook, paperback, and audiobook. Thanks.